right to be heard making the process of investigation and testimony of people with complex communication needs accessible, using augmentative and alternative communication, AAC. The presentation is given by Ronit Sir from the Israeli Mini Tri of Labor, Social Welfare and Social Services and Yafat Klein from JDC Ashalim. G is 17 years old. Dot as special investigator and speech language pathologist addressed his case through the use of a communication board. They learned that another student is touching G's genitals in the school bus. G single quote was asked how he felt regarding the process of investigation, and this thumbs up was his answer. G is 17 years old. Dot as special investigator and speech language pathologist addressed his case through the use of a communication board. They learned that another student is touching G's genitals in the school bus. G single quote was asked how he felt regarding the process of investigation, and this thumbs up was his answer. This is a unique partnership between the government and relevant professionals and non-profit organizations. It was important for us to keep in mind that once we initiate the pilot program, the program will be handled by the Ministry of Social Affairs and Social Services alone for the years that follow. This is a unique partnership between the government and relevant professionals and non-profit organizations. It was important for us to keep in mind that once we initiate the pilot program, the program will be handled by the Ministry of Social Affairs and Social Services alone for the years that follow. The Law for Investigation and Testimony, Adjustments for People with Disabilities, 2005 The investigation of a person with a cognitive disability is conducted by a special investigator. The investigation is filmed and the video can sometimes serve as a substitute for testimony. The special investigator provides recommendations for accommodations in court. The Law for Investigation and Testimony, Adjustments for People with Disabilities, 2005 The investigation of a person with a cognitive disability is conducted by a special investigator. The investigation is filmed and the video can sometimes serve as a substitute for testimony. The special investigator provides recommendations for accommodations in court. The service or when someone submits a complaint to the police, it is referred to a special investigator. The special investigator collects information and, if necessary, calls the SLP, who gathers information on the communication abilities and needs of the individual. They plan and conduct the investigation together. The service or when someone submits a complaint to the police, it is referred to a special investigator. The special investigator collects information and, if necessary, calls the SLP, who gathers information on the communication abilities and needs of the individual. They plan and conduct the investigation together. The pilot lasted four years, in which we developed an organizational and professional platform. We needed to develop an investigation style that accommodates communication tools and can be admissible in court. We also needed to raise awareness amongst professionals in order to ensure that they recommend the service to potential users. The pilot lasted four years, in which we developed an organizational and professional platform. We needed to develop an investigation style that accommodates communication tools and can be admissible in court. We also needed to raise awareness amongst professionals in order to ensure that they recommend the service to potential users. When we started the pilot in 2011, we only had three AAC users referred to investigation. In five years, we enlarged the number of referrals by 700%. When we started the pilot in 2011, we only had three AAC users referred to investigation. In five years, we enlarged the number of referrals by 700%. This research looked at the methods through which the special investigators and SLP conducted the investigations the information collected, 
and the results attained. In the majority of the investigations, significant relevant information was discovered. These investigations did attain less detail compared to those involving people with other disabilities. This research looked at the methods through which the special investigators and SLP conducted the investigations, the information collected, and the results attained. In the majority of the investigations, significant relevant information was discovered. These investigations did attain less detail compared to those involving people with other disabilities. This additional research looked at the impact of the pilot program beyond the investigation room, and found that the program had 14 impacts on additional methods of investigation, on the professionals involved, on the organizations involved and on society. Among them are these six impacts that include promoting access to justice, stopping abuse and increasing personal safety. This additional research looked at the impact of the pilot program beyond the investigation room, and found that the program had 14 impacts on additional methods of investigation, on the professionals involved, on the organizations involved and on society. Among them are these six impacts that include promoting access to justice, stopping abuse and increasing personal safety. Over the past four years, Developing the service totaled $345,695. The ongoing service demands more working hours on behalf of special investigators and SLPS, as well as trainings and maintenance of a second camera. This will total $28,000 per year. Over the past four years, Developing the service total $345,695. The ongoing service demands more working hours on behalf of special investigators and SLPS, as well as trainings and maintenance of a second camera. This will total $28,000 per year. The ministry appointed a point person in each district and regulated the employment of the SLPS. The next challenge is to determine the legal precedent in court. Israel recently decided to fund communication aids, so we believe that even more people with complex communication needs will make use of this service. The ministry appointed a point person in each district and regulated the employment of the SLPS. The next challenge is to determine the legal precedent in court. Israel recently decided to fund communication aids, so we believe that even more people with complex communication needs will make use of this service.